Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate body mass index in R. So, um, learning how to calculate body mass index is a cool way to learn uh, how to do some basic calculations in R. What we want to do in this program is we want to ask the user for their weight, their height, and then perform a calculation to generate their body mass index. Now the formula for body mass index, or BMI for short, I'm highlighting here in line four, is that the BMI is equal to a person's weight in kilograms divided by their height squared. I'm going to multiply height by itself in order to get the square value here. So what I want to do is ask the user for their weight in kilograms, then ask them for their height in meters, perform the calculation, and then display uh, an output telling the user what their what BMI is. So let's start by determining the person's weight. So we're going to create a variable called WGT and assign it using the read line function. Yeah, the parameter is prompt. In this case here is equal to, in inverted commas, enter your weight. And in order to ensure that the person enters their weight correctly, I'm going to add in and make sure that they enter their weight in, in kilograms here. And put a colon and a space after that. So, and I'm happy with my line of code. I'm going to click on the run message. And then the uh, uh, prompt appears in the console. So I need to click down on the console and enter in my weight. So I'm going to put in 95, which is my weight in kilograms. Press enter. And we can see up in the global environment that weight has a value of 95, though do note that the value is surrounded by inverted commas, indicating that this is a character or a string and not a numeric value. We're going to have to do a little bit of converting in a moment. We've got the person's weight, now let's get their height. So I'm going to store that in a variable called HGT. Again, I'm going to use the similar type of code to get the user to uh, prompt the user to enter in their, in their height. H E I G H T. Uh, again, I'm going to ask the user to enter their height in meters. Uh, run that line of code. So click on run. And in the console, uh, enter your height. So uh, my height is 1.8 meters. Press enter. And we can now see in the global environment that height has a value of 1.8, though again it's surrounded by these inverted commas, indicating that these are not numeric values, that in fact they are strings or characters. So we're going to need to be able to convert that, otherwise we will not be able to use these values in our formula. So we need to use, we need to have a function that will convert these into numer numeric values. So we're going to do weight first, so WGT, I'm going to reassign this using the as.numeric function and uh, just use the same variable that you've used before. So take the variable weight, use the as.numeric function to convert it into a numeric value and restore the new value in the weight variable. So click on run. And we can see that our in the global environment, our value weight is now just 95. The inverted commas are gone, indicating that this is now a numeric value. So let's do the same with, with the height variable. And you will also note in the global environment that the uh, inverted commas for this variable are also going to disappear. So let's run this line of code and see that happen. And again, now we have two numeric values in our global environment, and we can now perform the calculation. So let's go ahead and do that based on the formula that you can read from line four in the code. So I'm going to use a variable called BMI and assign it a value of the, the person's weight, which is WGT divided by, and I'm going to use brackets to ensure precedence is correct, the person's height, HGT, multiplied by HGT, which is a handy way of squaring it. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, use the caret symbol, which is uh, used for squaring a number, uh, caret uh, to the power of uh, 2, that will, will square a number. But I'm going to go back to the um, just multiplying it by itself, just to be uh, the same as the formula on line 4. So now, uh, just check the code, and I'm happy that this will perform the calculation. So BMI... Uh, appears in the global environment. We've got a third variable here, and my BMI, as you can see here, is 29.32. And so what I'd like to now is to display this output to the user in the console. So I'm going to use the print paste function. Um, display a message. Um, your BMI is on a colon. Let me just make sure that's lowercase o there. And after my uh, st string of text here, put in a comma, and then just a variable name BMI, and that that should display the result. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and run this line of code. And we can see in our output, the print paste function is 
telling me that my BMI is 29.32, the same value that's in the global environment. So that's how you calculate body mass index in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.